uh, conference ahead of the general election. Many thanks. Let's cross borders again down south and Zambia's opposition leader Hakainde Ichilema will go on trial at a high court on treason charges in a case that has stoked political tensions following a contested election last year. Ichilema, leader of the United Party for National Development, was arrested in April when police raided his home and charged him with trying to overthrow the government. 27-year-old Siulaji Sinkala has a diploma in human resources and business management. Unable to find a job in his field, he started a metal fabrication workshop in Zambia's capital, Lusaka, two years ago. On a good month, he makes 500 US dollars, but business has been slow, and the political climate in the country has left many business people anxious. Uh, it, it's a very bad environment to live in where two dominant politicians are fighting, yeah, over power, you know, and that's where the fight, fight is all about, it's about power. Zambian opposition leader Hakainde Ichilema is facing treason charges, accused of trying to overthrow the government after a convoy of opposition vehicles failed to make way for President Edgar Lungu. Ichilema is being held in a maximum security facility outside of Lusaka. The case has stoked political tension in what is regarded as one of Africa's most stable and functional democracies following a disputed election last year. Sinkala says the government's priorities seem misplaced. If you see where we come from, if you see where we come from, you, you, you wouldn't believe that there is a government that is saying it's for the people. If the government is for the people, why are people suffering why there are no jobs raising political temperatures in zambia africa's second copper producer come against the backdrop of an economy weighed down by low commodity prices mine closures rising unemployment power shortages a widening budget deficit and diminishing foreign currency reserves the political turbulence however does not appear to have closed the taps of international finance or aid the International Monetary Fund, IMF, says it may grant Zambia up to $1.3 billion in a three-year credit facility to help plug a budget deficit of around 7%. But the widening political rift in the country has raised concerns among rights groups. Zambia being a, democ a democratic country, we believe in democracy. And uh, as for me, myself, I don't think there's democracy anymore. I'm a youth, I'm a, and I've got the right to choose which party to support. But it's like we are not allowed to. So it's having those social implications whereby we are afraid as a nation of the possibility of the eruption of a civil strife, which we cannot we say it's good for a citizen. Zambia's parliament suspended 48 opposition lawmakers last week for boycotting a speech by the president. Church leaders, including those from the influential Catholic Church, released a statement urging for the release of Ichilema, whom they've called a political prisoner.